Well, I don't know where he's getting this. We don't want people joining our party. I'd rather they just took off. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> I need everyone to make a constitution save through. Constitution? Yeah. Really? Oh, um, Harmon. Yeah. <laughs> I think we both rolled the same thing. All right. What did the... Or not everyone. Uh, yeah, everyone. What did everyone get? Oh, three. Gonna start oh, at the top? no. Yeah. All right. Um... We're going to go off of initiative order, just because that's the thing I have open at the moment. Um, Peter. Eleven. Turf. Uh, does a nat one make a difference on a constitution saving rule? No. Okay, then I got a five. Okay. Uh, three. Sharon. Dirty 20. I did not make a constitution roll for Twitter Bart. One moment. That's a fail. I don't even need to... <laughs> That, that was a natural one. So, the only one who passed was the person who got a dirty 20. Unfortunately, Spooderbar didn't. So everyone except for you is taking 19 fire damage. 19 fire damage. Can reaction! Uh, yes, reaction? I might be doing the same thing. What's the reaction? Absorb uh, where is it? Absorb elements. Okay. You take what? That's half damage, and then you can use it next turn. Yeah, and uh, you cast that at first level. Yeah. If I do cutting words, does that reduce the attack as well? You do what? If I do cutting words, does that uh, reduce the attack as well? Too late for uh, that. Not... The numbers have been announced. Yep. Okay. And it wouldn't have reduced the attack. Hey right. Scott, uh... do you remember Spooder Bard's max HP? Uh, it's 13. Cause... Yep, okay. Spooderbard's not feeling... Good. Spooderbard's feeling pretty hot right now. Um... Nice work, yeah. Spooderbard. Alright, so, uh, as my reaction, um... So when an attacker that you can see hits you with an attack... So this is like an attack, I'm assuming, right? Uh, yes. Alright, I can do a reaction T to have an attack against you. As he appears back in from the Misty Step, you see him pick up the rose from his pocket and hold it in front of him before blowing the petals towards you and a cone of fire. Oh, so that's what it was, was the cone of fire? Yes, it was a so breath attack. You, you said 19, so that would be 10 damage, correct? Uh, 19 cut in half. Yeah, 10. Is it's 9, but we always round up, right? Mm -hmm. I thought it was round down. I think, so. I think I rounded down earlier, so yeah. we might be... Round yeah, down. It's, it's round down, I think. Round down. Okay, then I'll heal myself for one. And how also, much damage was that? That was 19? Or 19, half yes. Of 19? I would like half to say with that attack, Spooderbard is... is dead. Does he get uh, his three chances? He is at the very least unconscious. Um, I don't know if I ever decided that Spooderbard would get death saves or not. He gets saves. Okay, he's he's unconscious then. So I will be rolling on his turn. Apologies and that. that is that is my turn. I don't know who's next, but it's your turn. Peter will be next. Okay. Oh, he used fire and I absorbed it. Well, that means I can't use a physical attack against him. I'm going to go with, uh, at this range, I'm going to use a second level Witch Bolt. That was a 16. It was not hit, unfortunately. Ah. Is it half damage? It was not. It's just okay. No, it's got a hit. All right. And I'm going to come over here. Is that your turn? Yes. All right, Tarot, you're up again. All right, so you said the room is 30 feet. Mm -hmm. It's uh, you can get across the room in one yeah. without using next turn. So I'm gonna go up. I'm going to attack with my rapier. Okay. That is a 16, which doesn't hit. Nope. Um, then I'm gonna attack with my dagger, which is a dirty 24. Okay. 
So I'm gonna that's gonna be six damage plus because uh I have uh rackish what is it the rackish audacity plus uh, I get a sneak attack at the Yeah, I don't need advantage to do a sneak attack, so yeah. Um so sneak attack for four D six for another fourteen. So that's twenty damage total. Alright. And then as my bonus action, I'm going to dash. Dude, I forgot to ask last time. Is your rapier magical? Uh, no, it is not. All right. How much damage did the rapier or the dagger itself do? The dagger itself did uh, six. So you want half that if it's magical? or If it is non-magical, I have it, yes. You have it. Okay. But not the sneak attack. Not the sneak attack. Okay. So as my bonus action, I'm going to use dash. Uh, because I've attacked you, you can't uh, attack me. And I'm going to retreat to the back of the room again. And that's the end of my turn. Okay, Harmon. Okay, so uh, where's this guy? Okay. Um, what, what weapons did you say you had on you? I have a rapier and a dagger. All right, I'm going to use heat metal to... Cast it on the rapier. Okay. Right, it's just two d eight fire damage, isn't it? Uh, this one's gonna be three d eight because it's third level. Um, that's going to be. Oh, that's pretty good. Um, eighteen damage. So as you see, the rapier turn red hot with the heat. Uh, he just keeps holding it as if nothing's happened. Interesting. Um, and he will continue to hold that weapon. Okay. Um, well, in that case, let's see. I'm going to... I did not attack with a light melee weapon, so I can't two-weapon fight. Yep, that, that's it. I'm just going to stay where I am. Alright, next up, Tron. Can I cast Moonbeam? Okay. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> that is a valid attack? Um... <laughs> How does that work again? Uh, silvery beam of pale light shines down in a 5 foot radius, 40 foot high cylinder, centered on a point within range. When a creature enters the spell's area for the first time or starts its turn there, it's engulfed in ghostly flames. I'm going to cast it as a level 4 spell. So every time that somebody starts their turn in that beam, they'll take 4d10 damage. Uh, what type of damage? Um... Radiant? It is radiant damage, yes. Okay. Um, and it's just a small score around him. Oops. Mm, I want a different color than that because it's prettier. It's about a third of the radius. Mm, it's, it's a five foot radius, so it'd be ten. About ten foot yeah. like that. That's. Yeah, that's wow. about it. That Okay. Oh. That's what, four, you said 4d10? Yeah, when you start your turn there. Or move through it? Or move through it, yeah. Um, Alright, is that your turn? Yeah, I'm not leaving Spooderbard. Alright. Speaking of Spooderbard, that means it is his turn to get death saved. Oh, fun. That first While that's happening, just FYI, um, you're going to have disadvantage on attack rolls until the start of your next turn. I do. Because yep. of the uh, okay, because you're holding the weapon that's currently on fire. I didn't take any damage from the fire. Yeah, mm. but still, it says that the creature is holding or wearing the object, and oh, and takes damage from it. Uh, the creature mm. must proceed on its on save or drop the weapon. If it does not drop the object, it has disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks until. So you have to take damage, right? Except yeah, if he's immune, immune to it, it's not going to cause him discomfort. Yeah. Oh, okay. I just thought maybe he wasn't telling us the damage. No, no, he did not take any damage. No. Oh. No. Oh. Or the fire oh. damage. Oh, also, Spudabard failed his first save. Oh, that's not good. No. Nope. By the way, the um, um, for the spell Moonbeam, it's a con saving throw of sixteen to take half damage. Um, and with that, it's top of the round. Auntie, you're up again. Uh, you said DC 16? Yeah. Cool. He sailed. 
So roll damage? Yeah, 4d10. Do you want to roll or do you want to? Sure, I will. Uh, 23. Alright. Good to know. He is going to... Circle over to Tamar. Let me check something real quick. All right. Okay. He's going to try and stab you with his dagger. That is going to be D20. Does a does a twenty-seven hit? Yeah, I think so. Probably just, just a little. little. Kind of just have to. You know. <laughs> you are going to take. Uh, Seven damage. Piercing damage. Yep. And as a bonus action, he is going to misty step over to, let's just say, we'll just misty step over to here. Hello, Dirt. Hello. Good to see you again. Indeed. And I really wish we didn't have to. I really, yes, it is my turn. I really wish we didn't have to do all the fighting. Oh, you could stop at any time and just give us the, the gray eye. I, my boss told me I need to at least one of you to die. So. Viva la Re- revolution! <laughs> it's fair. Uh, he paid me quite handsome to make sure one of you died, though. So, one of you at least will be dying today. You could be that one, you know. I could, and it, you could very well kill me and take the eye back. But we'd rather you just give it to us. There's no need for anybody to die. Or you could join well, our party. Well, we we no. have a habit of uh, of encouraging people to join our party. Uh, perhaps well, you know you would uh, you know viva la revolution. You know rise up against the uh, prol- proletariat. <laughs> I don't break my promises to my bosses. So I don't know where he's getting this. We don't want people joining our party. I'd rather <laughs> they just took off. Shut up. <laughs> 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 so is that your dialogue or oh yeah that was 100 yeah <laughs> it was cool. okay <laughs> uh i was just sure you guys have done the idea to interrupt oh sorry um sorry. all right peter you're up okay uh well uh, i don't like the way this is going i'm just gonna use a uh, ray of frost and that's a ah, that's only a fifteen. Is it half damage on the success? It's another to hit. Okay. So I'm assuming it missed. Unfortunately, a fifteen does miss. Yes. Okay. If it missed, you don't take any damage. Right. Then, having used a cantrip, I run in and attack with my with advantage like yep scimitar advantage that is oh thank you so much for the advantage <laughs> 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 one and 18 uh, <laughs> what is your modifier uh it is a 24 total and is your scimitar magic no. <laughs> well, what's the damage? Okay, it is uh, a mere seven points. Noted. Of slashing. Um, is, that, right. is that the uh, Then, yes, that is where I will stop. All right. And then turn. You're up. All right. So attack with the rapier with advantage. You don't get your sneak attack anymore, though. I do, because... Uh, <laughs> you don't get sneak attack, we get flanking. Uh, bu- 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 bu. Your sneak attacks if it's a one-on-one duel. Uh, you don't need advantage on the attack. Okay, uh, once per turn, you can deal an extra 4d6 damage to one creature you hit with an attack with a finesse or ranged weapon if you have advantage on the attack roll. Uh, you don't need advantage if another enemy of the target is within five feet. So in both cases, oh. I would be able to do the okay. sneak attack. <laughs> Trust me, it, it's very few instances where I can't use a sneak attack. <laughs> um, Why so do I you roll... keep picking the broken character? <laughs> right, so More with advantage, 
24. It hits. So the natural damage is 5. Okay. 